Live from the CBS Broadcast Center, this is CBS 2 News. Black women are at a significant disadvantage while pregnant and while they're giving birth. A new study shows women and babies die at significantly higher rates than their counterparts, regardless of their income. CBS 2's Jessica Mora looks into the problem and explores solutions for pregnant black women. Kimberly Seals Allers was a graduate student at Columbia University when she gave birth to her first child here in the city. I delivered at a you know highly regarded hospital, but I walked out feeling disrespected, unseen, and traumatized, right? My questions were not always answered. I had a C-section that I still can't fully explain. After delivery, I it was clear that I was breastfeeding. My baby was repeatedly given infant formula with, uh, against my wishes. It definitely clouded the early days and years of my motherhood journey. A New York Times study revealed gross inequity in the way black women are treated during childbirth, regardless of socioeconomic status. In fact, the study showed the richest black mothers and their babies are twice as likely to die than the richest white mothers and their babies. Current New York City Health Department data shows black Black mothers are eight times as likely as white mothers to die in childbirth, regardless of income. That means that they're getting it right for some, but not for all. Seals Allers turned her pain into purpose, creating Earth, an app where black mothers can share their birthing experiences at specific hospitals with specific providers. The data is then shared with hospitals with the hope of improving equity. Transparency and accountability are critical for us to achieve birth equity. Dr. Diana Romero, head of the Maternal Health Department at CUNY, points to the need for cultural humility in the healthcare system, where doctors and nurses are trained to treat each patient equally, regardless of race. Do black women need more advocates within the hospital to make sure they're being properly treated? Everyone probably should be better advocates for themselves when it comes to health care. But to expect people to advocate more so that they get the same is a little, to me, you know, backward. Dr. Romero says long-term policy changes are needed to make health care more accessible and affordable before and during pregnancy. And hospitals need to implement strong training against unconscious bias. In the short term, she recommends establishing a good relationship with your OBGYN throughout pregnancy and making your wishes clearly known. She also recommends hiring a doula if financially feasible or even bringing an outspoken family member or friend to the hospital who can speak up on your behalf. Okay. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News.